Hello, this is Vern, and if you'd like to understand four things that awesome men feel and think, but can't necessarily express, don't have the words or the language to express to you, well, stick around, because I'll be revealing what these are in my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm excited to be sharing with you four things that awesome men feel inside but can't really express or say to you. And why is this important? Because if you understand intrinsically what a man is looking for, what a man needs, you'll be at an exponentially higher advantage to women around you. <laughs> and that ends up being, meaning that you get a chance to choose who you want to be with because men feel that presence of yours and they want to connect with you and be with you and nurture you and give you love. <laughs> so the first one is, I know it sounds simplistic, but it's really this, I want to feel seen. And I know that this is not uniquely special to men, but I feel that women have a clear capacity to express, I'm not seen, I don't feel you. Men don't necessarily say this, but they will feel unseen. So what do I mean by I want to feel seen? I want to feel seen is that humanness that you provide. It's the capacity that you have to feel him, to connect to him, not from your mind, but from your heart. And from that space, allow, I have no other words to, under, to describe this other than this full body experience of just being seen, of being in your essence, of being in your light, of being in your power. And when a man gets a chance to experience that connection with you, because you're not going here, you're expressing something, you're seeing him with your full presence, and you're not judging him by doing that, then that's a very distinctive experience and not one that he gets a chance to experience often in his life. So at work, as making life happen, that's not necessarily the most common experience. If you provide him with that experience, imagine that you're walking down the desert and there's a, a little oasis with water and palm trees. That's what it feels like to him, okay? So the second one is, show me when I've gone too far. I didn't say tell me when I've gone too far. I think they, men want to be told, but they want you to show them. And the difference is small semantically, but it's huge in the results that you have. Because if you show a man that he's gone too far and what you feel is disrespect, disrespected, for example, and you feel angry, expressing that. If what you feel is sad, expressing that. If what you feel is um, disappointed, expressing that. Because if you're sad and you express anger, he doesn't necessarily get that he's hurting you. He just gets a chance to feel you angry. If you're angry and you act indifferent, again, energetically, he doesn't get a chance to experience the pain that he's causing in your life. So show me when I've gone too far means when he crosses a boundary, not only this is a given that you're able to express you've crossed the boundary, but vulnerably being able to show him in your expression, in your being, that the pain he's causing in your life has real consequences for you is key, if he's the right guy, in him learning to not do that shit again. <laughs> Number three is when you own your happiness, I want you more. What does that mean? When, I, when you own your happiness, I want you more means that I want to feel that I'm needed, but I don't want to feel that I'm responsible for your happiness. I don't want to feel that if I don't show up, you crumble because then that means that I don't feel free. Freedom means you are taking the steps in your own life to connect to what matters most to you, to own your happiness, to own your fear, to own your mission, to own your purpose, to own your connections with your friends in such a way that I get to add to that happiness instead of create it for you. If a man starts feeling that he is responsible for your happiness, initially, especially if he's the codependent kind, he's going to feel kind of cool about it. But it's going to end up biting you in the ass. Why? Because he's going to feel it's too much. No one can bear the fucking burden of being someone else's happiness. That goes both ways. But I'm telling you right now, since I'm speaking to you, beautiful woman, that this feeling of when you own your happiness, I want you more, means that you're able to relax more. You're able to be yourself more. You're able to not 
worry so much about my opinion of you and that is so attractive and sexy. Number four is your embodiment of gratitude makes me feel needed. More so than you nagging on me, more so than you tell me what I'm not doing right. I'm not saying that you shouldn't tell a guy when he's not doing something right. I'm telling you that if you really want to feel him to feel needed, when you show the positive, amazing impact that he creates in your life, again, just like with uh, number two, show me when I'm going too far, it's like show him with your full being. Show him gratitude with your expressiveness, with your passion, with your light, with your joy, with your sense of fulfillment, unrestricted, open heart, being, <laughs> hitting him in his chest. That type of embodiment of gratitude makes him feel like he makes a gigantic difference in your life and it's feeling needed in a healthy way. Not feeling needed like you're unhappy if he doesn't do it, being needed in a way where he, he can make a positive difference in your life. And what man on the right mind who's healthy inside wouldn't want to sign up for a lifetime of feeling that way? I think most men who find their woman, who find someone who helps them understand the value that they provide to their life, uh, they feel a higher calling and a stronger commitment. It's not the only ingredient for commitment, but it's an essential one. So hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful as you go along creating connections with men, as you deepen into connections that you want to take further, I want you to remember what I shared with you right now. He wants to feel seen, he wants you to show him when he's gone too far, he wants you to own your happiness, and he wants you to embody gratitude when he does something right, so he gets reinforcement and he understands that he can make a positive difference. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, or somewhere on your screen here, you'll see a pop-up show up that allows you to sign up to a webinar I'm hosting that will share with you how to find your soulmate in nine days or less. Very powerful stuff, and it's absolutely free. Thank you.